Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping well. So I have a bit of a wax haul here for you um, from different companies. Got Bath & Body Works spring candles. I have a DW candle. I have the Ashlands uh, from Michaels. Their wax melts, their spring ones. And uh, my subscriber Patricia Nose to Toes uh, sent me some Scentsy wax melts from uh, Nova Scotia. So I will start with uh, the DW candle that I found in HomeSense. Now they didn't have, still don't have a, a whole lot there. There's a few Yankees, there's some DWs. Um, there's a lot of sand and fog candles at uh, HomeSense. Uh, if you've tried those before uh, and you've had luck with them, let me know. Uh, but there's a ton of them, but I haven't tried them before, so I was kind of reluctant to, to pick one up. But I did find this DW candle on clearance, and it's sea salt and kelp. And it was on clearance for $11. It was 17 ounces, and uh, it has the two wick. And this one really smells very refreshing. It's, uh, it's light. It's like fresh air. Kind of reminds me of that fresh air scent from Sensationals. It's just very fresh. There's a little bit of a sunscreen, sun, uh, suntan lotion scent to it. Um, a little bit of a salty undertone. Uh, it's, it's somewhat subtle though. It's a little bit light on cold. But just very bright and refreshing. Uh, definitely a beachy, summery scent. And then I um, scurried around the corner to Bath & Body Works. They had a, a sale and I had a coupon. It was nothing great. Um, I do prefer fall and winter candles. Uh, but they did have some of the classics there like bergamot waters and that sort of thing. But I thought I'd better go home and check to see how many I have. Um, before I get carried away, but I decided to uh, get some that I haven't tried before. And uh, the first one is uh, Key Lime Pie. Now this wasn't quite what I was expecting. I was expecting a very tart uh, lime scent. Yeah, I don't get any, I don't get any crust. Um, it is a bit of a tart lime scent. But I mean, it's not, uh, it's not straight up lime, like a very sharp, tart, straight up lime scent, like a lime marguerite or anything like that. Yeah, there's another note in there. Uh, I just can't quite put my finger on it. But yeah, it wasn't quite what I was expecting, but it, it really does smell good. I really do like the smell of it. I was probably just expecting a much more... Um, tart kind of lime scent, but yeah, I do like it. Another one I haven't tried before is the Pink Petal uh, Tea Cake. And I know a lot of people really, really do like this one. And it really is quite good, actually. There's a sweetness to it, but it's not overly sweet. Now, I'm picking up a rose scent. I don't know if that's just my brain, but I pick up a little bit of a rose scent. I don't get I don't get a lot of cake. It's more of kind of that sweet, almost fruity kind of scent, but I'm picking up a little bit of rose. But it really does smell good. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be fairly strong. But yeah, it, it really is a, a very pretty scent. And one I have tried in the past is Lemon Verbena. And I absolutely love the label. It's just gorgeous. Now this one smells a little bit different. Uh, if I have burned a couple of these in the past and for some reason I'm thinking it was a little more lemony. I mean, it's, it is lemony, but it's not, um, there's definitely a floral greenery note mixed in there. It's not like a cleaning solution kind of lemon scent. It's not like that at all. But yeah, there's definitely a floral greenery mix in with the lemon. So the lemon's not dominant. It's not a sharp, tart lemon. It's not an overly sweet lemon. Uh, it's just mixed in very nicely with the, the greenery scent. So uh, yeah, I actually, I really do like it. I was just thinking that maybe in the past the lemon was a little more dominant. But anyway, I do really like it on the cold. And I love the label. 
And then the last one I purchased there was the Lavender Woods. And again, the label's really, really pretty. Um, so I was thinking this was uh, sort of like the uh, Provence, French Provence line, where they had that lavender fields or whatever it was called, and that was definitely lavender. Uh, but this one, I find the woods, like a woody scent, a musky woody scent is more dominant than the lavender. It's not an overly herbal lavender scent. It's tamed down quite a bit with that uh, musky woodsy scent. I mean, the lavender is there, but it's, I, I would think, to me, the woods is more dominant than the lavender. But, oh, it's, it's really nice. I really do like it. I was hoping maybe the lavender was a little more prominent, but um, I really do like this blend, actually. So, Anywho, that's it for Bath and Body Works. And then I went to Michael's, and they had their Spring Ashland Wax Melts on. Uh, buy one, get one half off. Now, they actually have reduced the Canadian price, believe it or not. Most prices go up. This one went down. There you go. Um, so, it's always been like around the $5.99 Canadian mark. Um, so, even buy one, get one was a little bit expensive. But now they are down. Now they're down to $5 Canadian. So, they're $2.50 each now, which is... Um, a lot more reasonable. So yeah, it was nice to see the price come down. Now some of these have the similar names to the ones last spring, um, but um, they do smell a little bit different. So I will start with uh, this sun-washed teakwood. Now last year they had vanilla and teakwood, and this one is more like a woodsy uh, definitely a woodsy vanilla scent and then this one is more of a uh, like a, a colony kind of wood scent but there's a brightness to it so it's not overly colony there's just like a, a hint of the cologne in there but yeah I really I actually do like that one and then this is camellia and sweet pea now I know they had a sweet pea scent last year and I just couldn't find it. Um, it's hiding somewhere. So I'm not sure if it smells similar, but I do like sweet pea scents. They're always sweet. Um, there's always a muskiness to them. So this is a sweet musky floral. Oh, it really is nice. I do like that one. Perfect for the bedroom or the bathroom. This is Tulip and Neroli. I really do like this one. It's just kind of hard to explain. There definitely is a floral. Oh, there's a bit of a sweetness to it, but I don't know what Neroli smells like. I have no clue. But I really, really like this one. It's not as sharp, cloying florals. I'm not into those. I like the florals with sweetness added or a powdery muskiness added to it. Oh, this one's really, really good. And this is Freshwater Pearl. And they had one similar to this last year also. It was called Something Pearl. Oh, but this is bright. Um, definitely a beachy, watery scent. There's like a salty uh, ocean air vibe to it. Mm, do like that one. Uh, and then this one is White Tea Rose. Now this one I don't get a lot of tea or rose in it. It's, it's almost, it's just like, um, like a sweet candy. I don't get rose. Yeah, I get like a sweet candy kind of scent. And this is fresh bamboo. Now this smells almost exactly like Bath and Body Works fresh bamboo. It's uh, that very sharp, astringent greenery scent. And I just love ba bamboo scents. Oh, it's just so bright and fresh. I just love burning something like this in the, the springtime. Oh, it's just so bright. I uh, really do like that one and super strong on cold. So that's it for my um, the Ashland uh, wax melts. And then uh, my subscriber Patricia from Nova Scotia sent me some Scentsies. She's a Scentsy consultant and she was um, doing some reviews on her channel and uh, 
she had this amber hollow and um, she wasn't too keen on the scent but I said oh my god I love amber scents so she sent this to me so thank you Patricia so this is amber hollow and yeah you get amber can be like a cloney scent it can be uh, a woodsy amber scent uh, different varieties oh but I really like this one this one is I get a spice I get like a some kind of East Indian spice in there with the amber and she said just burn one cube at a time because this is potent <laughs> so I will but yeah there there's there's some kind of spice in there it's a very spicy amber Oh, I really really like it I do like it and she sent me the room spray in the same scent also and then uh, there's these little samplers to, uh, to try this is um, mocha doodle and here we go and this is like a really um, it's definitely a bakery scent I get like um, like a cinnamon almost. It's not a red hot cinnamon. It's uh, like a, uh, a very like a brown sugar and and uh, that deep cinnamon mixed together. And then there is uh, clothesline. Oh, and this smell. This is very very authentic. This smells just like the laundry room. Very authentic. Oh really really like that one and then there is uh toffee butter toffee butter crunch and this does smell like toffees i have a bunch of english toffees in my bedside there and i'm addicted to them and this smells like toffee candy oh it's really good and there is um my dear watson I think when uh, I usually pick these up at the um, food and music festivals downtown London and I know I smelled this before and it is a clony scent but it's it's not cloying it's not overpowering so oh and Patricia how do you how do you melt these um, I was just wondering how to get the, get these out or are they just for sniffing I wasn't quite sure because they just just let me know um, and this is Havana Cabana and this one is definitely a tropical uh, coconut pineapple blend very very nice so yes thank you very much Patricia I appreciate that and I am going to enjoy my amber hollow definitely so just um, just a couple more things because I could put this stuff away because Abigail's already be tearing at it with her little jaws. So around the uh, corner here, up the road around the corner is this Unger Market and you can get fresh produce there. Um, you can have like a tea and a muffin for like a dollar. They sell, um, they, can, they have a little lunch buffet there. They sell clothing and jewelry and fun knickknacks for the home decor and everything like that. So. I love popping in there they always got new stuff so I bought this little decoration these little snowshoes because me and Frank do go snowshoeing when the uh, snow gets a little too deep in the woods they were selling it for $35 and they had it on sale for $8.99 which is a much more reasonable price um, they had little bells on it here and little snowshoes and I uh, thought that was really cute and they had their socks on clearance so I picked these up for work um, they're a men's size. When I got home, I realized they're a men's size, so they'll probably drown me, but anyway. Um, but they had, like, the stethoscope and the x-ray and everything on it. And they had uh, this jewelry, which Abigail's already... I see a couple little bite marks on there, but anyway, can't notice them too much. But I just uh, like the reds and the deep oranges, and then they had this little coppery accent there, which I thought were really, really cute. And, um, yeah, I really like uh, history. And I saw this um, necklace and earring set, and it just reminded me of something like a Viking woman would wear. It's kind of that, um, that uh, what do you call it, hammered metal kind of look to it. So I found this necklace, and I just really, really liked the design of the gold and then had these little silver 
accents there. I thought it was just so pretty. And then they had the um, matching earrings to go with it. So it's kind of like that hammered metal kind of look. So I thought that was really cool. And the prices are pretty reasonable. Like this was to, for the earrings and the uh, necklace was like $18, $18, $19. So yeah, I thought that was really, really cool. So I'll go put those away before uh, Abby gets her little teeth on them again. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I um, hope everyone's taking uh, taking it easy out there. Yeah, we, we went from a snowstorm to mild to freezing rain back to a snowstorm. So it's, Mother Nature's just doing, throwing everything at us here. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you tried any of these candles or wax melts, uh, let me know and everyone take care. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.